Hi everyone, welcome to Notescraft. Today we dive into the whimsical world of Alice's adventures in Wonderland. Penned by the brilliant mind of Charles Lutwidge Dodgson, better known by his pen name Lewis Carroll, this literary masterpiece has enchanted readers for generations. At the heart of the story is a young girl named Alice who embarks on a fantastical journey filled with absurdity, wit and whimsy. The tale begins on a lazy, drowsy summer afternoon as Alice sits by the riverbank idly passing time. Suddenly a peculiar sight catches her attention. A white rabbit, dressed in a waistcoat, anxiously checking a pocket watch and muttering about being dreadfully late. Intrigued by this unusual spectacle, Alice decides to follow this rabbit leading her to fall down a rabbit hole into a world beyond her wildest imagination. And thus Alice's extraordinary adventure begins. Alice encounters a host of eccentric characters in Wonderland, and oh, what a host they are! Each one more unique and unpredictable than the last. These characters are the lifeblood of Carol's whimsical world, adding colour, humour and a dash of madness to Alice's surreal journey. First, we meet the Mad Hatter, a character as mad as his name suggests. He's a riddle wrapped in an enigma, forever stuck at tea time due to a falling out with time itself. Whether he's posing unanswerable riddles or making nonsensical remarks, the Hatter embodies the delightful insanity of Wonderland. Then there's the Cheshire Cat, an enigmatic feline with a knack for vanishing and reappearing at will, leaving nothing but its iconic grin. The cat is a master of riddles and wordplay, often confusing Alice with its cryptic statements. It's the Cheshire Cat who tells Alice that everyone in Wonderland is mad, including Alice herself, a statement that perfectly encapsulates the absurdity of this world. And who could forget the Queen of Hearts, a character of fiery temper and scant patience, the Queen rules Wonderland with an iron fist and a penchant for beheadings. Her volatile nature and arbitrary justice system create an atmosphere of fear and unpredictability, further enhancing the bizarre charm of Wonderland. Of course, these are just a few of the many fascinating characters Alice encounters. There's also the White Rabbit, the Caterpillar, the Duchess, and many more, each contributing to the rich tapestry of Wonderland with their unique quirks and idiosyncrasies. These characters, in all their eccentric glory, serve to challenge Alice's understanding of logic and reality. They are reflections of the nonsensical nature of Wonderland, a place where nothing is as it seems, and everything is subject to change. They are not just characters, but symbols, representing the chaos, unpredictability and absurdity that underlies human existence. Indeed, Wonderland is a place like no other, filled with the most peculiar creatures. Through these characters, Carol presents us with a world that is as enchanting as it is bewildering, a world that continues to captivate readers over a century after its creation. Alice's journey in Wonderland is marked by a series of bizarre and fascinating events. The sheer unpredictability of this world is what makes Alice's adventures so captivating. Let's delve into some key events that shape her journey. Among the first of Alice's encounters is the Mad Hatter's Tea Party, a scene that epitomizes the nonsensical nature of Wonderland. Here, Alice meets the Mad Hatter, the March Hare and the Dormouse, all engaged in an endless tea party because time has frozen at six o'clock. The conversation is erratic, the etiquette is bewildering and Alice struggles to make sense of it all. This event underscores the absurdity of Wonderland and Alice's growing frustration with its illogical inhabitants. Next, Alice stumbles upon the Queen's croquet match, a game that defies all logic and order. The croquet mallets are flamingos, the balls are hedgehogs, and the hoops are the Queen's soldiers bent over. The Queen, with her explosive temper and irrational love for beheading, makes the game a chaotic and anxiety-ridden experience for Alice. This event highlights the arbitrary rule of power in Wonderland and Alice's growing desire to escape from it. Finally, Alice's adventures culminate in the ludicrous courtroom scene. Accused of stealing tarts, the knave of hearts stands trial. The Queen is ready to pronounce the sentence before the verdict. The evidence is nonsensical and Alice, who grows to her full size, finally loses her patience. This event underscores Alice's growth, both literally and metaphorically, and her rejection of Wonderland's irrationality. In the end, Alice wakes up and it all seems to have been a peculiar dream, from the Mad Hatter's tea party to the Queen's croquet match to the final courtroom scene. Each event in Alice's journey contributes to the overall plot. 
painting a picture of a world where nothing is as it seems, and that's what makes Alice's adventures in Wonderland such a timeless tale. Now, let us delve deeper into the layers of this literary masterpiece. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland is a treasure trove of symbolism, clever writing and thought-provoking themes. Let's start with the symbolism. Many of Carol's characters are not merely whimsical figures, but they represent concepts and ideas. For instance, the White Rabbit with his pocket watch and frantic demeanour symbolises the ceaseless, relentless march of time. Alice's pursuit of the rabbit down the rabbit hole can be seen as the journey of life itself, a voyage into the unknown full of surprises, challenges and transformations. The Cheshire Cat, with its ability to disappear and reappear at will, leaving only its grin behind, is often seen as a symbol for the enigmatic and elusive nature of reality. Its cryptic advice to Alice reflects the bewildering, often contradictory nature of the world. Now, moving on to Carol's writing style, it's one of the elements that makes this novel so captivating. Carol's use of nonsense language, playful logic and a unique blend of reality and fantasy creates a dreamlike atmosphere that is as intriguing as it is entertaining. His ability to play with words and meanings, to use language in unexpected and humorous ways, is one of the hallmarks of his style. Let's not forget the broader themes. One of the most prominent is the absurdity of life. Throughout Alice's journey, she encounters characters and situations that are nonsensical and illogical, mirroring the often absurd and unpredictable nature of our own world. The Mad Hatter's Tea Party, for instance, is a perfect example of this, with its endless tea time and nonsensical conversations. The novel also explores the theme of the loss of innocence. As Alice navigates Wonderland, she experiences a series of disorienting changes in her size and identity, symbolizing the confusing and often difficult transition from childhood to adulthood. Her encounters with the Queen of Hearts, who represents tyrannical authority, further underscore this theme. Lastly, the nature of dreams is another significant theme in the novel. Wonderland is essentially a dream world where the usual rules of logic and reality do not apply. This allows Carol to explore the power and mystery of the subconscious mind, as well as the thin line between illusion and reality. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland is not just a children's tale, but a complex exploration of life's absurdities and mysteries. This novel is a testament to Carol's genius, a work that continues to engage, entertain and provoke thought more than a century after it was written. It invites us to look beyond the surface, to question, to wonder and to dream. It's a journey into the heart of imagination, a celebration of the power of the mind to create worlds, to transform reality and to find meaning in the midst of chaos. As we wrap up our journey through Wonderland, it becomes clear why this novel remains a beloved classic. We've explored the fantastical world and eccentric characters of Lewis Carroll's masterpiece, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. We've walked with Alice through her bizarre encounters, from the Mad Hatter's Tea Party to the Queen of Hearts croquet match, and we've laughed at the absurdity of it all. We've delved into the peculiarities of Wonderland, a place where logic is turned on its head and where nothing is as it seems. The Cheshire Cat's enigmatic grin, the Caterpillar's philosophical musings, the White Rabbit's constant hurry. These are not mere whimsies of Carol's imagination. They are carefully crafted elements that demonstrate the author's profound understanding of human nature and the absurdities of the adult world. The novel's charm lies not only in its eccentric characters and their capricious antics, but also in the deeper themes it explores. We've unpacked the symbolism, dissected Carol's unique writing style and touched upon the broader themes of growing up, identity and the often nonsensical rules of society. Carol uses Wonderland as a canvas to paint a vivid picture of the struggles and confusions we experience in our journey from childhood to adulthood. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland is a rich tapestry woven with threads of fantasy, satire and philosophical insight. It's a story that captivates our imagination, tickles our fancy and at the same time makes us ponder over the deeper aspects of life. It's a timeless classic that continues to enchant readers of all ages and it's no wonder that it has left an indelible mark on the landscape of literature and with that we come to the end of our journey. I hope this is exploration of Alice's adventures in Wonderland has been as fascinating for you as it was for me. Thank you for watching. Please like and share our video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this content 
Tell us what you want to see next in the comments down below.